Lee, and I am back today with another Dollar Tree haul for you. I've been to the Dollar Tree a lot this week. Uh, this is my third haul. I'm trying to keep it to two hauls per week, but it's three this week because I went back and I found some more stuff to show you. So let me show you what I found. I found this Barilla Roasted Garlic Pasta Sauce. These are the full 24 ounce jars. That is a really good deal. I haven't bought Barilla in a long time, but when I bought it a few years ago on sale, sometimes you could get it two for four. So a dollar is good. I don't know what it goes for now, but I, I feel like a dollar is a good price. And I picked up So now the kids are stocked up on spaghetti sauce. Next I grabbed just two Bolero products. I got the face wipes in the vanilla sugar and raspberry. There are 30 in each. And I picked up the coconut and rose milk for a friend. I picked up these glass gems. I like these big ones and you can't always find them. And the plan is someday when I do some more pour painting, I'm going to use these to make some magnets. I've made magnets, which I can actually leave a link for in the Eye in the Sky. I made magnets with alcohol ink. Actually, I can show you one. I made these magnets with alcohol ink, and I do have the uh, a video on it, and I will link it. I think they turn out really pretty myself but these I'm gonna try paint plus I picked up the button magnets in my Towson Maryland haul not the last one but the one before in their new craft section they had them so I grabbed the button magnets there I found this book called the X-Files Origins Devil's Advocate and my husband and I uh, we have seen every X-Files episode more than once the movies everything we really really liked that series this is by jonathan mawberry or mayberry but this says how did dana scully become a skeptic before she was assigned to the x-files before she was an fbi agent and before she studied medicine dana scully was a loner at high school blah 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 anyway i'm really excited about this the original price in the u.s was 18.99 so, oh oh man i need to find that one now Anyway, I figured I'd start with this one. If I actually read it, it'll be great. <laughs> well, I don't know if the book will be great, but it'll be great if I read it. Next, I grabbed the little ice cube trays, the silicone ones, and I grabbed this one. It's blue and it has penguins. Now, I picked these up. I picked up the summer ones and the Halloween ones, and I did use the summer ones. I made ice cubes with them, but I'm thinking I might use these to make some chocolates. I don't know, what do you think? I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them. But I grabbed them. Then I picked up this one with the bells and holly and ribbons. And this one with the candy canes and the little wrapped hard candies or peppermints. They look like peppermints. The thing is, they're going to make pretty huge chocolates, but we'll see. I'll do something with them, maybe. I picked up this wrapping paper because it's cute, not because I need it, because I don't need it. Look at this. It's puppies with Santa hats. Whoops. <laughs> Look how sweet it is. I couldn't pass it up. It was too, too cute. So, I have banned myself from picking up any more Christmas paper, wrapping paper, unless it has puppies or kittens on it. Otherwise, no. We'll see how well that works. Next, I got these cookie boxes, and there are two in each package. And this one has the snowflakes, and they have a uh, window top on them, so you can see what's inside. I thought these were really pretty. I got these with the Christmas trees, also with the window top. There's such a glare in this house, it's so hard to see. There we go. And then I picked up this pattern that has the little ginger gingerbread 
fella there with the green hat and then the green pretty designs. Well, green and red and white and whatever. Anyway, I thought they were pretty. I picked those up as well. They are, by the way, a different size than the first two. You can see that. I got some more of the really cool Christmas cards by Voila, the ones that look a little bit fancier than just your average Christmas card. So this one says, Merry Christmas. It has Santa and snowflakes. And it says, wishing you a holly jolly Christmas and a joyful new year. I think that's super pretty. I'm not sure why Sally's running through the house and sneezing. Ah, she's playing with the cat. Then I got this one that says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. And I love poinsettias. I think they're so pretty. I just love this. It's a beautiful classic Christmas card, I, I think. It says, wishing you a joyful holiday season and all the best in the new year. I love that one. Next, I got two of these. It says, cozy holiday wishes. And some of the hats are pop-up. It's super cute, or 3D, I don't know what you call it. It says, sending warm wishes your way for the happiest of holidays. Got two of those, and I have two crazy chihuahuas upstairs. And the last cards I picked up were these with the puppy. I picked up two of the same. With the puppy with the Santa hat, it says, happy holidays with a bow. And then it says, wishing you a very merry Christmas and a happy new year. Those are too adorable. So the last items I picked up were available last year. I don't know, I never found them, so I don't know if they're the same designs or not. Obviously the year is different on them. But they are these daily calendars, and they're, this one is the Advanced Coloring 2020 Calendar. Includes a fold-out stand, and you get to color, is it every day? I don't know, I'm thinking every day. You get a new picture to color. So I picked up that one. It had the word search 2020 calendar. I love doing word searches, so I'm probably gonna keep this one for myself. Then they had an inspirational quotes 2020 calendar. And lastly, there is the laugh it up 2020, 2020 calendar, which I'm also tempted to keep for myself I don't need to, um, I'll have to decide which one. I think, yeah, I don't know. But these are definitely excellent stocking stuffers. So that's everything I actually picked up this time around. And now I have some videos and pictures of some items I saw in the store that were really cool, but I just don't need them. So check them out and meet me right back here.
All right, so that's everything I picked up this time around at the Dollar Tree. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. You can also find me over on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 5 Thanks for watching. Bye.